hello everyone welcome to the laravel wheat series today in this series i'm going to explain that what is wheat why we need this wheat and why it's replaced with the laravel mix and uh, we are going to install this into the bootstrap also we are going to install this into the vue.js inertia livewire and react.js so if you are not familiar with this one wheat so you can watch this full series where, where i'm going to explain this for the websites and also for the spas so basically the wheat is a bundling uh, for use for bundling the assets so let's jump into the previous ones in the previous versions we are using the webpack to compile our css js and images file in laravel application but this wheat is introduced into the laravel 9.18 or 9.19 i'm not sure it's added uh, after this laravel 9 release so basically wheat is a modern front end building tool that provide an extremely fast development and bundling your code for the production so it means that wheat is used to compile your files into the minified files and then you don't need to include your all files at the top so this way you need to just uh, add the compiled files okay so choosing between wheat and laravel so you can read it from the documentation that which is uh, suitable for you and why you need this wheat so basically wheat is too much faster than mix and uh, one more thing here so this is a drawback of this week however it's lack some feature laravel mix support such as ability to copy arbitrary asset into the build or not reference into this uh, javascript application so this is supported by laravel mix okay so now question arises that how to install this wheat so first i'm going to install this into the bootstrap and then i'm going to move further to the view react and stuff like that but before this you need to satisfy these two requirements so you need to install the node js first and then you need to install the npm so if you are not familiar with this uh, node js and npm that these are installed or not so how you can verify them so let's go to your command line cmd and then verify that these are exist in your uh, in your pc or not in your operating system so here just type node v so it will return the node js version and yes it's 17.5 which is a stable version of laravel and then i'm going to try check the version of npm v let me also open this youtube here oops let me turn this off and wait for a moment to complete this uh, npm v so it's going to return us uh, the npm version right so let's wait for a moment to complete this process so basically these are two requirement to uh, install the weeds so by default if you are running the webpack so these are also requirement to uh, for the webpack right so you don't need to do anything more So now let's uh, come back to here so if you are on the laravel sales you need to install you can check this like this okay and then as similar like webpack you need to install this npm install and it will pull uh, it will install the npm into your project you can also install the npm globally it's totally upon you okay so the other steps are used to uh, this one let me introduce you white.config.js file so if you are going to create a new laravel application so this will be added into your project file but in your previous laravel 9 project this does not exist so i'm going to first to create a new project and then show you that where it's uh, exists this file so here i'm going to install this uh, composer create project okay and then laravel it's similar command like uh, you are doing this in the previous laravel 9 project okay and then here you need to specify your project name so i'm going to name this uh, wheat wheat in laravel so some uh, developers are pronouncing this is a white but this is actually a wheat not uh, white okay let's going to now pull the latest version of the laravel so which is i think 9.22 and stuff like that 9.3 and it's installing this out so let's wait for a moment to complete this process and then i'm coming back okay so our application is installed and you can check that it's a new thing is added that there are 
lines between them you can read out easily that what are the packages added uh, by default in the installation and this one is also flag is added here application key is success successfully right so now let me go to the project so this would be uh, wait with the wait oops wait in laravel okay then run php artisan serve and uh, i have also opened this in my text reader so this one is wait in the laravel so now let's uh, go to the uh, go to the bottom so this one is wait.config.js file is added in this uh, new laravel 9 version so let's click on this and open this file so by default it's containing this code so defining the configuration and uh, install this wheat plugin first we are importing this and then we are going to make, uh, do the configuration right so here you need to this one is used for rendering your uh, compiling your resource and then this refresh property is used to refresh when you save this file so this will be instantly refresh your web browser automatically so you don't need to press f5 so let's uh, go here and let me type localhost 8000 and it's going to open us uh, when you open this out so our development uh, server is started okay so our application will be open in a few seconds and yes so let me check the video size okay now it's not going bigger okay a moment this process internet to make it properly work without any caching so let's auto reload this again okay yes it's now loaded and if i go here and press uh, control s so now let's return back to the web browser and yes it's instantly automatically refreshed so i did not press any control f or control r right so basically control F refresh the web page but uh, if you are using this white so you can also use the same steps first you need to install this npm install by using this command and then if you want to build the assets then you need to run the npm run dev for product uh, for production you need to run npm run build and it will build your files into the public uh, directory okay it's uh, uh, going to take a few times and then i'm going to uh, return back and start this with the new series uh, new video so it's going bigger so i will meet you in the next one bye bye